Welcome back, everybody, to more 80 days here on Additional Pawns Games. We're continuing where we left off here in Delhi, and it appears that we can already uh, depart if we want to. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm willing to stay a little time here. Worth a lot in Hong Kong. Rest in recuperation. Let's go ahead and explore. We'll take the palanquin tomorrow. New route discovered. Delhi to Madras. In Delhi, I met the much lauded Amulya Savarkar, inventor of the metal clad, clad Savarkar at Modak. Don't work for the Raj anymore. I kindly leave. Um, she mistook me for English. Unforgivable mistake, madame. I'm French, I decide. Give me astronomy any day. We were conversing in the gardens of Jantar Mantar, park containing grand collection of architectural astronomical instruments, 50 story high sundials, instruments for calculating by the stars, all built by a Mughal, Mughal, sorry, Mughal emperor some 150 years ago. I've been admiring one very large piece with some bafflement when I happened across a group of children being guided by none other than British India's most famous inventor. Strange place to hide. I'm guiding these worthless tourists around a historical monument which I, for which I received my salary. You're hindering me from performing duties. You want no longer an inventor. I told you I'm a tour guide now. Don't you miss it. Stand in a city that has seen a hundred kings, a thousand. These instruments were built by once great empire, now destroyed as the Raj and all its devices time wow it's a little bit nihilistic um one day tourists will look at my admonics behind a glass of museum exhibit they won't even give i'm going around the world as fast as i can is there anything just this is you're doing what why for science sure there are hip flasks that have gone around the world before now you need to do it in 80 days ah what you wish me to lend you the fastest admonic created do you not Perhaps, madame, you have one last thing to prove the world. There's one craft that was built but never put into service, small and light. Could take you as far as Hong Kong in three days. Perhaps. Ten thousand pounds. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> you'll need to come. I'm sure you'll need some time to raise money. No, we don't. Once you've done so, come and find me. Delhi to Hong Kong. Guys. Oh, man. That's huge. Oh, we're doing it. You bet your butt we're doing it. Screw the... Okay, the Trunk Road palanquin, palanquin would be really cool. Uh, Tomorrow at 9 a.m. Let's stay the night in Delhi, then. Let's uh go ahead, have a kick. Have some fun. Uh, Certain to pack and iron everything. Prepare us for our departure. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Go to Hong Kong. Guys. Ah. Uh, death of Empire to Hong Kong. Oh my goodness, guys. This could be a disaster. We met disaster, sorry. We met Madame Savarkar outside a small warehouse near the riverside. Well. Gave her the money. 10,000 bucks. 10,000 pounds, actually. I bowed and she laughed. Gestured with her rifle to one side of the building this way. Thought we were taking an airship, not a boat. I keep it hidden. Fair enough. At the bank of the Yamuna River, she stopped. Took out a flute like device. She played a short series of notes. Saw ripples in the water. Wow. Call her the Death of Empire. Owl flyer, you get it. Funds have gone down by more than 1,000 pounds. Yes, I, I noticed. Uh, experimental hovercraft to launch from Yokohama soon. Okay, that's uh, that's good to know. Wow. To Honolulu. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Craft rose and rose and rose, and when I felt it go no higher, she smelled a pressed tiny lever and it jumped upwards above the crowds. 
clouds. Can't describe it. Um, but we sailed on a sea of white. The clouds formed a second sea and kept my eyes to the glass. Um, eager to see what strange creatures lived up so high, but I saw nothing. Fast space, though. Flat as an arctic plain. Does nothing live here? Um, no. <laughs> Alright. Man, we are just flying through. Madame. Let's talk about Hong Kong. Hong Kong to Yokohama? Okay, Hong Kong to... Mm, Yandanaban. Hong Kong to Canton. Cracker biscuits. <laughs> Have a biscuit, ma'am. Uh, Yokohama. Yokohama to... Pyongyang. Sounds unlikely. Yokohama to Pangsaw Pass. Talk a lot, don't you? Yes, we do. Canton. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Need to make a little bit of money, but perhaps we should join those dots together somehow. I smiled. What a thought. Not in my lifetime, I'm quite sure. Has all kind of. Let's uh, attend to Mizier Fog. Here we are in Hong Kong. Third day passed, clouds cleared, and we watched the streamers flashing sea. Of how fast our journey was, wonderful effect this trip would have had in progress around the world. What a marvel. I was pain in my ears, and I swallowed hard. Hmm. Swallow, I suggest. rather more exhausting than I anticipated. Yes, it was. Quite exhausting. Here we are. 10 p.m. Yokohama. Three days. Alright, tomorrow for 9.80. Let's go for it. Leaves tomorrow at 5 p.m. We can do that. Stay the night in the hotel. Man, it cost me the mess has a mustache so fine, so luxuriant, so well tender that I briefly lost power of speech. I watched mesmerized as it quivered above every word of introduction. His name is fixed. Uh no thanks. Is my master's just Uh let's yeah. Let's go ahead and explore. All right, so to Beijing. Hmm. Rooms of gentlemen, quite understand. Um, fine, let's go with him. This is an opium den, I exclaimed uneasily. The gin is good, you told me. All right. You, a detective? I could not hide my incredulity. Fox wagers a pretext last September a robbery of 55,000 pounds was committed at the Bank of England. Uh, he's an honest man, I asserted mechanically. Wow, this guy is saying that our master is a, is a massive thief. I've done nothing wrong. No. Oh, jeez. So we discovered a route that we already knew about. Lost a bunch of time because I decided to go with that dude. All right. Go. Let's get on the Jade Tiger and get out of here. We have no money. What? We can a small dark cabin. Master shave. Um. Did he take all my money? Is that what happened? What the heck? I'm not sure what happened here. Maybe I should have read a little bit more. Fragmented series of images sprang to my mind. Opium den fixes accusation. Opium pipe pressed against his blankness. 
Um, where is my master? It would seem my master left without. Terrorist outrage shakes Rome. Zuave blamed. Zuave? Zuave? I'm not sure. Uh, scratch a blanket on my shoulders, ventured out of the cabin. Where am I? Abominable. Jade Tiger, passenger ship bound for Yokohama. Hmm. Englishman carried you aboard and paid for your berth. I got a magnificent. A blackguard had paid my ticket from Hong Kong to Yokohama to separate me from my master. Unbelievable. So we're now it makes sense. My master is behind me. Song Chu Chu Ying, I think. Uh Yokohama to Honolulu. Um Yokohama to Port Moresby. Shape your head most strange. Uh let's talk about Honolulu. Honolulu to San Pedro. Honolulu to Acapulco. Give her a biscuit. Honolulu to Tabatinga. Honolulu to Auckland. All right. So we got a few new routes, but that explains what happened. Is that the uh, sketchy dude that I definitely should not have gone with put me ahead of my master and is possibly arresting him in Hong Kong. Wow. The Pacific Ocean is really big. You don't really notice it when you're just looking at it on a map. Um, but on a globe like this, I apprehended the cold truth of my situation. I would arrive in Yokohama the following morning without any penny to my name or even a change of clothes. No notion of my master's whereabouts. Um, I could rely only on, my, on myself. As your fog would find me, he was a practical sort of gentleman. Could choose to do the winning of his wager over the searching of an errant servant. Use of that Celepard fixes his ticket, attacked the buffet with gusto of a man who was not sure where his next meal would come from, for indeed I did not. Yes, whenever you go to a buffet, get your money's worth. Very practical. We tethered at Yokohama early afternoon, greeted at the waterfront apprehensively, my eye passing lightly over the slope of buildings, carriages, and buried trees. Um, I straightened, straightened my cuffs, brushed the front of my shirt from the lint, set foot on Japanese soil. So Japan, we actually uh, didn't visit last time we were in, or last time we played 80 days. So Manila to, it seems like Manila to Yokohama, which doesn't help us because we're not going that direction, but Yokohama to, oh, oh, San Francisco. I joined the circus in retrospect. It was in retrospect the most sensible action I could have taken with my varied skills of acrobatics and clowning. Yes, very sensible. Quickly realized the matter of how to find my master was entirely secondary to the larger question of ready funds. Ready funds were what the sharp-eyed proprietor of the traveling circus offered. Sure. Volunteered myself to uh, <laughs> dress up as a lady while flaunting my mustaches. A most demeaning form of entertainment brought up by a notch I felt by um Perfectly executed series of pratfalls. <laughs> not... Shame, friends. I ran to my master. He's looking particularly undisturbed. Um, how did you find me? We have lodgings to arrange and a journey to continue. We met the fog. Funds have gone up by more than a thousand pounds. There we go. So we got some money back. Let's go ahead and plan out our day. So last time we did go to Honolulu, so we could go to San Francisco. Uh, departs for San Francisco in two days at twelve noon, or we could pay seven fifty. I think that we can wait. Let's go ahead and stay the night, rest up. We'll explore Yokohama, help the kitchen staff. Let's get some money. And 
Check out the market. Wow, Katana. Salt Lake City? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of this tobacco, which will sell for a good amount. We can get rid of the desert travel, I think. Keep the American travel, though. Heavy storm set. Yeah, we're going to be on... Seems uh, seems like a wise decision. Acapulco, Omaha, and Gastown, Seasickness Pills, Worth a Lot, and Salt Lake City. Do we have a chance of going to Salt Lake City? No, we're not going to Manila. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Salt Lake City. Yes, we actually do. So I think that getting that katana might actually be a good investment. Let's go ahead and get an extra suitcase. Since we're getting an extra suitcase, we may as well buy everything we can with hopes of selling it for more in the future. And San Francisco. Tomorrow at noon. All right. Go ahead. Stay the night. One more night in Yokohama. And he's doing fine. Polish some shoes in the lobby. Earning 180 pounds, 108, sorry. Earning that for lunch. Yeah. Nah. Not much use to us now. We're already past that point. We must make haste. I agree. On to San Francisco aboard the Water Lily. Hire some extra space. Hey. Onward we go. 15 days across the ocean, though. Long journey. The Water Lily sleek iron hulled ship to submarine prototype captained by a severe American by the name of Wicker. Who wore a top hat, of course. Preferred tea to coffee, which greatly endeared him. Fog, addition of usual compliment, the Water Lily carried an entire corps of brass goggled engineered, abrasive sub submariners. Stand by should the captain call the order to submerge. Um, the rumor was that she was a confederate vessel sold off. The private concern later, more desperate stages of the Civil War. Saw no trace of her dark past. Hmm. Interesting. Let's talk with the captain. He's a fine-looking captain. Um, let's San Francisco to Salt Lake City. Transcontinental Express. Salt Lake City to uh, Albuquerque. All right. So that's what we wanted, though. We wanted that route to Salt Lake City. We can sell our katana to, I don't know, we can sell it to some of the, the Mormons that live in Salt Lake City, I guess. <laughs> All right, because we need some money. Our captain, well, Captain Wahawi, hardly spacious, was adequate to our needs. Came by, showed us some pressure seals. Um, something I look forward to. Hmm. Wow. Let's converse a bit. Uh, let's give him some tea. San Francisco. Still recovering from their civil war, I hear. San Pedro. Buyers will pay well for fast passports from San Pedro. Hmm. Well, that's actually where we're going to have to wrap it up for today. So, thanks again for tuning in for some more 80 days here on Additional Pylons Games. Hit like and subscribe. Check out some of the other series going on on the channel. Leave a comment below. Connect with me on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see you next time as we continue across the Pacific Ocean on the Water Lily here on Additional Pylons Games.